Hey, what's up family? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. And today's video, I want to talk about this JST Bus Glue BG Drums by Joey Sturgis Tones. This thing is really nice. Uh, I know I keep saying that, uh, and some people may not like this, but I really do like this. I think it's an excellent product. I think it's well placed in terms of the price, and I really like the sound of it. Okay, we're going to take a look at it. I'll see you in a moment. Hey, welcome back. Right, so let's jump straight into this one. I really like this plugin. I mean, I really like it. Not just because it's <laughs> just in the UK, it's £49. Uh, so the price is really good, but I like the way this sounds. Also, I like the fact that it's very, very simple to operate. It's not a huge amount of pushing buttons and sliding knobs and whatever else. This one just says what it does. Okay, let's start right at the beginning. You have the comp button, which is your compressor, you have the punch button, you have the mix button, which is your wet dry mix, and you just have the output button. Um, so rather than going through all this, okay, so I'll maybe let's just do this. We've got tight, open, fat, and boom. Uh, we don't know what it does yet, but we're gonna soon find out. However, what I will say, I like the sound of this. I've said it already and I'm gonna say it again. This sounds really nice. I really like it. So thumbs up to the guys there at, at Joey Sturgis Tones. This BG Drums is really nice. It's a small plug-in. Uh, there have been uh, people saying that it uses up a lot of resources. I haven't personally found that it has. Uh, I'm using a Mac Pro uh, 2012 version with 40 gigs of RAM. Uh, and I'm, it's not it's not a huge amount of uh, in terms of um, processor, uh, but let's let's play something. Let's okay. So we've we've had a look at the interface as we normally do. Uh, there isn't any hidden buttons and there's no hidden knobs. What there doesn't seem to be on this one uh, is a bypass. Uh, you know, a little switch that bypasses. Uh, the other thing this is this comes from a suite. So let's just let me just quickly run over there and let's just show you the suite. So. The suite comes it comes with a num number of other uh, plugins that are available, and I probably will do. In fact, let's not go into that now. Let's let's, let's not do that now. Um, let's remove that track. Let's not do that. Let's just talk about this one. Right. <laughs> I probably will do um, some of the others. So you've got the the guitar and the keys and the mix and the bass and blah blah blah. Uh, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to stick to this one. Right, uh, so I've already said what there is on the front. Let's just go and hear it because this is going to be a really quick video because I really like this uh, and I'm hoping that you, you will too, and especially for the price. Let me just jump straight into it. Let's play. Uh, I've got a little MIDI track here. It's, it's drums and these drums are coming from... Um, what Which drums did I use now? Okay, so I am using... Okay, yeah, it was the Studio Drummer. Just so that uh, it's not necessary to know, but I'm just telling you anyway. Okay, let's just fire this up. Let's just have a listen. So what we've got here, we've got um, uh, at, we've got the compensation at uh, the compressor at 74. Uh, I'm going to do this on fully wet, um, just because I want to hear the total um, inflections and resonance that this thing gives off um, and we're going to bypass it at some point just so we can a b it but it is where it is at the moment so we're going to compress so 72 70 71 72 and we're going to go full um wet so this is on the tight Oh yes, <laughs> I always forget to say this. If you haven't already done so, uh, if you listen to this on your iPad or your your phone or something, you're probably going to need some headphones uh, because some of the lower ends you're not going to hear if you're listening to it on a mobile device. So get yourself some headphones or some studio speakers or whatever. But it's probably best to listen to this on a decent set of headphones or some speakers. Let's try the boom. Let's 
Let's listen without the compressor. I mean, this isn't just uh, noise. This this thing sounds great in my headphones. Uh, I really do like it. I think um, I like it because it says what it does. I like it because it helps your workflow. Because if you have a plugin that's got lots of individual tiny things that need tweaking and changing, you often find yourself coming out of that that zone where you're 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 right in the mix and you're right in the zone and you want to get everything the way you want it and you want it done quickly so that you don't lose your flow. And I think this. Uh, particular uh, plugin allows you to do that. It allows you to get straight back into it, find the sound that you're looking for, and carry on working. Just going to bypass it here. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, come on. This thing sounds great. Um, I think I like it because it's inexpensive as plugins go, and I think I like it because it just sounds really good. Um, that's really it. This plugin sounds really good. Now, as I said before, I will probably go back and take a look at the other plugins that we have, uh, the JST plugins. Uh, if people want me to, I certainly will do that. Uh, but as I said, we've got the bass, we've got the drums, we've got guitar, we've got keys, and we've got the mix. Uh, so right, so that's it for this one. Uh, I probably will go back at some point and do the other videos, but I've got loads of other plugins that I'd like to talk to you about, uh, and lots of other things coming. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you. If you like these videos, please um, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, like, share, you know, all the, all the good things. Okay, take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.